Hello everyone and welcome back to another video where I unbox something and attempt to make what isn't a mess with it. Have I sold it to you? Here's hoping. Right, this is the April uh, sketch box. They have an elephant. I'm very happy with that. Uh, this is generally not done, I think, with the art that's inside. I think it might be done with the supplies from a box before because you can send in your, your photos of, of your work to get it put on a box. So unfortunately it's not giving us an indication of what's inside, which is a shame because I like elephants. I think there's an elephant in there, but you know, anyway, she'll get on with it. Okay. Hi, Sam here. Did I say that? No idea. First off, we have the artwork. We'll put the what's inside out of the way. Ooh, I like that. I do like that. That is more than I can do, forewarning you, but that's gorgeous. That is by Kyle Krauskopf. Krauskopf. I apologise. I'm always apologising. I'm terrible. Anyway, there is the blurb about our Kyle. There is Kyle's Instagram-y type things and website. I'm liking that. I, I, yeah, that's worrying. <laughs> oh, and so is this. Okay, accordion style notebook. <laughs> right, looks like, I'll have to read up what paper it is, but it looks watercolour-y. So you can do that way, and that way, and that way. That's interesting, it's sketch boxes, or made for sketch box anyway. Oh, okay, we have a Daniel Smith Extra Fine Watercolour Stick. I think I've used some of these, I think. Let's have a look. It's in black. There we go. I can figure that one out. So I guess you could scroll it on and, and use water or put it in a in a dish and use water. But there you go. We've got one of them. Oh, next we've got... I've had these before. Again, graphics. Marabou, I swear, they, they have some sort of deal. They just have some sort of deal. But I got these in... I definitely got some of these in the... A uh, very interesting Inktober uh, box. Was that? Oh God, who did the box? <gasps> I can't remember. Editing Sam will find out, but definitely. And I think, I think these are the colours I got. I think these are the same colours. So that's that's a shame. I'm pretty sure I've already got one. That one's gone a bit gross. I'm sure it'll be fine with a bit of a shake. But ni nice colours. I like the colours. Pretty sure I've got them though. Oh, I, I like that Sketchbox do this. They do little little themed stickers for the box. Last time it was like a, a pen, a, like a Spectra style um, uh, alcohol marker. And this time we got one of these little guys. That is cute. I, I like that. I appreciate the extra stuff. We've got a Stedler Pigment Miner in 0 0.5 uh, in brown. In brown, yeah. Oh, it's still going. We've got a little paintbrush, which is good because these are painty. It is uh, two. It has two on it and it's shaped like that. Am I helping? Ignore this. I've already, I've just done a drawing. Just, just ignore, just ignore. And the fact that I had a, a cut on my, on my thumb. We'll ignore that as well. Oh, I thought it was down to the last thing, but I am not. An Ecoline brush pen. I really like these. I've got these. I don't know what to do with these. I'm rubbish at it. They seem to eat up every paper I've ever tried it on. And whenever I see other people like do boxes or whatever and they use these, it eats their paper up too. And yet I still really like them. I don't know why. They are water-based uh, brush pen in the lovely uh, Chartreuse colour. Okay, definitely the last thing. Oh, the Stone Ground Paint Company. I'm assuming a little a little ditty watercolour. Ow, that's right on my cut. Ow, ow, ow. I'm such a wuss. Oh, it's so cute. It's so dinky. Well, some size they normally are, but seeing it like this just looks really dinky. It's like metallic, like a metallic blue. So we've got a bit of brown for our lining, a black, yellow, yellows and oranges and metallic blue. That's actually quite a nice array of colours. So it's a stone ground watercolour Hudson Bay Blue. It's handmade shimmery medium blue to add dimension and life to your artwork. 
exclamation mark. And then we've got the custom Marabou Aqua Ink set, Sunshine Yellow, Quin Gold and Parole Red. Red. Uh, if you've got this, tell, tell me if you'd... No, you would have got the same colour because it's printed there. It's fine. Yes. Daniel Smith uh, watercolour stick derived from semi-precious semi stone, I say. Genuine so so sodalite. Okay. This pigment stick packs a lot of colour. Exclamation mark. You in for a good time. Try applying it to the surface dry or dabbing uh, with a brush. So there's a couple of different ways of using that. So that is everything. What are we going to do with it? Well, this is what I've kind of come up with. It's lots of birds and it's really long. And, and this is going to take some time, but this is what we're doing. Oh yeah, this is what we're doing. I think this ended up taking me about four days just finding time to do it and, and getting it done. There's bits of it I really like and bits of it I'm not too sure about. Yeah, pretty normal really. But yeah, it, 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 it took some time, but I enjoyed it. I think some of these birds are based on actual birds. And some of them I, I just I just made up. I went on Pinterest and put in birds and got a load of them. So the first one is just this little, it's white actually. Um, but I use a bit of blue, we'll do that in a minute. But all these daffodils, I use this yellow, but of course it's such 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 I can't remember what it's called now. Such there. It's got a bit of green in it. And yeah, that that's that's a slight issue because I mean I, I could have used I, I don't okay I'm, I'm, my dog is sneezing in the background ignore that um I mean I don't like it I just don't like it it looks like a dirty uh yellow it looks like I've got the the pencil or the pen in it you know and I was really worried oh, oh gold is it running but no no that's that's just it that's not pencil going into it or the pen that's just the color and yeah but no, I, I was on a bound to use it, so I did. And in the end, I just ended up trying to make it look I meant to be scruffy. So just vaguely coloured them in. I did not even attempt to shade with them because you cannot layer those things. I really want to like those eco line ones. I've ended up with loads of them somehow. But I've yet to find a paper or a way of using them. Uh, unless you scribble them onto your palette and use a, a paintbrush... Other than that, but I have said a billion times, what's the point of having something in a pen form if you're just going to put it on a palette? You might as well have just bought a tube or a pan. I'm just saying for about the hundredth time. But it's true. What, what is the point? And I cannot figure out how to use them as pens and that irritates me. But I really like them. Anyway, so that's a that's supposed to be a white bird, but it's kind of shaded blue. Just Just go with me on this. This is called... A, a cuckoo bird? No, it's not. I'm miles off. It's a Gloucester canary bird is what it is. Oh, go look them up. I had to get when when I was looking and I found this bird, I was thinking I, I am very naive and I will be got every April the first every t single time. And I thought this was like photoshopped and it was it was just a joke because it's it's adorable and I love it. And as my daughter pointed out, it looks like Dwayne Dibley. Oh, please comment down below if you know who Dwayne Dibley is. And if you don't, you need to go and find out who Dwayne Dibley is and you will thank me. But anyway, it's basically this bird that looks like it's got a wig. It's so cute. And there's, there's a few different variations. And I still swear it's an April Fool's joke and just nobody's admitted to it yet because it doesn't look real. But it has, it's got this like little wig of I guess, feathers, fluffy feathers on it. And I love it. But anyway, that's what that one was. What was this first one I did? Let's have a look. I've, I've got all my pictures here. I've got a blue blue footed booby coming up. So, so that's nice. Oh, I can't find it now. I don't think I saved it. But it's basically a little white baby bird that's just all fluff. So we've got we've got a fluffy baby bird and then we've got a Dwayne Dibley bird 
and then old Nex is very angry looking blue booby blue 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 footed booby yes that's what it's called and it's awesome but um yeah i try to use this stick in different ways where if you put it on the paper and then try and add water it doesn't spread very well and you can still see the the sketching of it underneath um which is fine if that's what you want but I didn't so I didn't put it directly I do in a bit actually because it's good that you see the lines kind of thing because I use it for line work but as it is eh, I don't know if I'm just traditionalist or boring but if, you, if you're gonna use it like paint well there's a pan use that so I, I don't quite get the crayony type thing there i said it okay but I don't, I don't get any any art supplies anyway so it doesn't seem to matter i splodge it on and hope for the best most of the time as you can see by my bad shading of the blue booby with blue footed blue booby which is actually uh, white with bright blue feet um the blue paint it was very shiny i'm i'm not i'm not that into shiny paint if i'm honest I think it just looks, um, it just kind of looks like a kid's gone mad on craft day and put a load of glitter on it there. I said it, I said it. And I, I don't like the look of it, just this sort of random shiny bit. It's, it's not for me. It's not for me and that's just me. Opinions are opinions and it doesn't mean I'm right or wrong. wrong. Who am I? Somebody who doesn't like glittery paint and that's it. But yeah, not not my thing. It's very pretty blue and it's a, a gentle shimmer so it does look more grown-up shimmery. Did that make sense? I honestly don't know. Um, the branch itself, I, I am denied about whether I should colour it in and I think in the end I just um, yeah, I just line, line it. Oh, there you go. Timing. That's what I'm about to do. So I line it and then I give the whole thing a bit of background like this. I tried to do it so you could open the concertina like a book so there was a bird on each book much easier. it was difficult going over the um the creases i had to really think about doing the creases i only actually did it with the line work and this yellow ecoline pen but that that would have been a concern if doing watercolor over creases it would have all gathered in there and yeah uh this next one i made up i don't know it's a fluffy red bird pretty much and I'm just experimenting with different ways of using the watercolour of again splodging it on and hoping for the best I think it looks okay I think it ends up looking sort of feathery I hope anyway I mean it it it, it kind of it looks like a bird so I'm I'm happy enough with that and look, look at me look I'm mixing I'm mixing a bit of yellowing get a bit of shading going see trying new things uh, I don't know but I do really like these inks the things thing that with inks you can use them like watercolors but they done off dry quickly you you've got to be sure of what you're doing and you've got to you've got to go for it so it, it does work the same I think as watercolor but it's it's certainly got that difference of you you just go for it but um oh yeah these ones yeah i don't know what that one in the middle is i just kind of did it so that happened and these last three one my daughter said it's it's her and her brother and me looking on and it's like oh okay yes um the yellow looks a bit brighter here i don't know if i i think this is a different day with slightly different lighting so but you can still see that green tinge and i just i just give up I whack it on because again they've done off even this paper which is watercolory paper it done off eat it up seriously if anyone knows how to use ecoline whenever i watch other people opening like you know doing box opening and using them they don't seem to know either they just they they milk the pigment from the pen and then use a paintbrush and it was like ah, i see the point anyway i think i've harkened on about that a bit too much this is I think this was supposed to be an ostrich so how it's got so small to sit on this branch i'm not quite sure um it's it's a new species of a mini ostrich we'll go with that and that's what's happening there yeah 
Anyway, um, I didn't end up, I didn't mix the blue with any of the inks. I wonder what would have happened. Huh, I didn't think of that. Would they mix? If I mix the, the blue and the red to get per... I mean, it's, you know, a bit down there, but... Yeah, I should have had a go at that. But, yes, anyway, I was umming and I Do I colour legs in or do I leave them just penned? And, oh, it's, it's a decision everybody needs to make. Do, do you colour your legs in or not? Apparently I did. But, yeah, that is, um... That's an ostrich. <laughs> I don't know why it's there. But we are on to... Oh, he's my favourite. He, he's kind of another Dwayne Dibley. He's, he's just there looking cool. He knows what he looks like. He looks awesome. And he's he's just relaxed, kind of kind of hippie-ish of the birds. Um I tried to spread the colours out and I have a blue one and then a yellowy one and an orange one and another blue one. Um I I didn't want to make it look like too patterned, you know, like blue, red, blue, red, but I tried to spread it out a bit. I'm doing I'm doing well I want to say fur, but it's supposed to be feathers. So I'm doing texture people, okay? I'm attempting with texture. And then we've got a bit of orange for his head. Oh, his head turned out cutesy. We're just like little, little lines just to be feathers sort of falling over his face. <laughs> he's quite cute, this one. I don't think he's got, um, I don't think he's got any claws. What are they, what are they called? Little feet, little bird feet. Oh, I don't know, I forget, I'll just forget words and then after I'll be like, oh, for God's sake. But in the moment, I just forget completely. But yeah, his little bird feet, um, they're sort of hidden by his feathers and I, I use a bit of this ecoline in there, which is fine. You know, I think it matches that, but yeah, wasn't wasn't happy with that. Here's me using this sticky thing as a sticky thing just to to outline um is, is this line it? line work? I don't know. Just to do those little birds. And I accidentally do something with their cheeks, which I quite like, and ended up doing on the other two as well. So you'll see that in a minute. I think these, these I, I like these ones. These these ones are cute. Look at the little fellas. They're so simple. And I think sometimes, especially with watercolour, it's nice to just have something simple. Um, if the water touched that black, it did start to... But not too much, actually. As I said... If you wanted to to put the um, sticky thing down on paper, you'd still see, you know, that the scratch is underneath. So it didn't actually pick up that much. Look, they got little cheeks. I just find that utterly adorable. Oh, them little cheeks. What are you supposed to do with that? And there's the mummy bird watching over her babies. Yeah. <laughs> So we almost were done with the birds, but then I was thinking, well, well, I want something more. I want all of the background done. I was thinking, should I have done the background first? It's plausible. I keep meaning, shall I, shall I start using that, um, what's it called? The the stuff that you paint down and it's, see with me and words, it just, just no. Masking fluid, that's what I was trying to say, and mask out the birds. But every time I've used it, it's ripped the paper up, so... I used washi tape the other day to just go around a, a couple of quite simple shapes. That worked really well, actually, because it, it does pull off paper quite easily, but it did block the paint. Um, anyway, so there you go, a little tip. <laughs> Have a go with washi tape. But I just decided to do splodges, give it the idea that there are flowers behind and stretching off into the distance kind of thing. And again, I tried to... Um, use the different colours and, and change them. I think I use too much water with with watercolour. I'm quite heavy handed with most things. So yeah, and I may have made a couple of splodgy mistakes with the blue, but I think it's okay. I think it's all right like that. So yeah, I think I'm happy enough with this. It, it, again, it's it's not turning out the way I have it in my head. I hope I am improving. The whole point of it being called All Right Art is that it's all right. It'll do, but, you know, I'm not amazing, obviously. But I'm trying and I'm hoping that I'm I'm learning and growing and all of that business. And, and you can grow and learn with me. How soppy was that? But that's that's the point. That's the idea. I am having a go and making my mistakes and I am 
honour bound to share such mistakes with you. But I, th I think I'm making things that look like the thing I'm trying to make them look like. They just don't yet match what I had in my head. You know, uh, this image of what I want to do and it's, it's not quite working as of yet. But I, I will continue. I will endeavour. I've still got pictures of Gloucester canaries on my on my computer screen. And they're just the most awesome things ever. They're, they they know, they know, they know that hair makes them look good. Oh yeah, they're posing in every picture. You go Gloucesters. Anyway, back to this. Yeah, so I, th I think it's okay. I was worried this was going to be too busy, but looking at it, I think I quite like it. It's obviously when it dries, it's a lot less vivid, I guess. I keep finding bits that I've missed and then the bottom bit, oh. It is never ending, but eventually it does. I'm glad I did this. I'm glad I got it. I'll show you a quickie at the end of, of what it what it looks like, just the whole concertina thing. And then it shall be placed in a cupboard and looked at later when I can remember. Oh, yeah, I did all that. I like that red one. Those little blue ones and that red one. So here you go. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed Please like and subscribe. It would make my absolute day. You have no idea. But I will see you next time for whatever it is that we get up to. Bye.